how does a headless cockroach survive for a week? What do you think can be the answer for this? Try it out. I'm going to give you the answer. Well, I'm not going to give you the answer. In fact, I'll explain you the answer. That will be better for you. Yes? Fine? Shall I start my explanation process? Correct? Are you ready for this? Well, the nervous system is what will give you the answer for this question. Correct? So let me talk about the nervous system for of the cockroach. Includes what? The brain and the nerve cord. The brain and the nerve cord. Fine. Well, first let me talk about the brain. Where is the brain? You see the brain over there. Do you see the location? Yes. The location is important. Yeah. Always try to whatever points, whatever structures I am trying to talk about, try to divide them within the segments like the head, thorax and the abdomen, right? Brain, where? Head region. Read this out. Supraesophageal ganglion present in the head. What does this mean? Supraesophageal, it means that this is a part of the arthropod central nervous system and it's named so, supraesophageal ganglion. Why is it named? Because of the position which lies below the esophagus. Once more. Why supraesophageal ganglion? Because it lies below the esophagus. Correct? Supplies nerves to the antennae. Yes. And the compound eyes. Compound eyes, I'm going to talk about the compound eyes today. Yes. So, supplies nerves to the antennae and the compound eyes. Eyes. Got it? It's the brain. This is about the brain of the cockroach. Now let's talk about nerve cord. Yes, double, okay, double ventral nerve cord. Double. Nerve cord is double. Well, try to figure this out. Let me show you. Nerve cord. Do you see the locations? I'll mark it for you so that you can see it properly. See, do you see the double ventral nerve cord? Ventral and dorsal, I'm sure right now you're absolutely clear about it, right? Double ventral nerve cord. Note this down. This can be asked in your examination. Correct? But does it extend? Extends throughout the body. You know what? Look at the picture properly. The ganglia, as you can see. Yes, they are segmentally arranged in the nerve cord. Yes, fine. You know about ganglia, right? What is ganglia? Answer me. What are ganglia? Yes, answer. Well, in the meantime, I'll talk about the ganglia. Fine. The ganglia segmented. Now, three ganglia. Try to see if you can count it. Well, let me rub this. Okay. So, three ganglia in the thorax region and six in the abdominal region. Fine. Well, now, nerves. Look at the picture. Okay. Just look at the picture and try to relate. That's it. You will understand everything. The nerves from the thoracic ganglia. Nerves from the thoracic ganglia, where are they serving? It supplies to the legs. See, it supplies to the legs. Now, nerves from the abdominal ganglia, where are they supplying? Serves to, supplies to various parts of the, in the abdomen. Got it? Clear? Great. See, segmental ganglia. Fine. Let me show you a nice 3D visualization of the nervous system. Let's see. This is it. Slowly, steadily. Look. Wow. See. See the brain. Yes. Now see the nerve cord. Double. Right? Double ventral nerve cord. Segmental ganglia. Segmental ganglia. Yes. Fine. Got it? So these are some of the structures. Take a proper three-dimensional view. So that you can understand everything and relate to everything. Because I doubt you will be catching a cockroach and then try to open it and see all these structures. It won't be possible for you, right? Yes, see it here. Now, look here. Now you are going to try out once more to answer the first question of mine. That is, how do cockroaches survive without a head? Can you answer this now? Try it out. Look, the hint will be, just think about the structure, the arrangement, the arrangement of the nervous system. That can give you a hint to answer this question. Headless cockroaches, secrets revealed. First try to reveal it to yourself, then 
I'll help you out. Okay. Think about how much of the nervous system is there within the head. It's very small. Okay? Small amount in the head. Fine. The maximum part is situated along the body. Okay. Fine. Maximum part of the nervous system is actually there in the body and not in the head. In the head, it's a very small amount. That's the reason. That's the reason. Even if the head is like somehow gets chopped off, the cockroach can survive for a week. Got the answer? Yes? Great. 